Huh. This deck is meta now? What is up YouTube? It's Dual Humor and welcome back to the channel again. Now, post uh, t uh, September 25th ban list has dropped and we definitely gotta do revision but I haven't shown this deck to you guys yet because I was still practicing on playing it. It's one of the old decks. If you guys have been here for a while, you guys know I loved Unchained back in like 2020 when it came out, 2019 around there during, uh, I guess it was like, what was that, that set? I think it was Chaos Impact. It came out, it was really good, and I really enjoyed it, so I definitely got to bring out this new, uh, this new uh, deck list for you guys. Uh, inspired by some of the tops, which is pretty good, honestly. I added a little bit of twist to it, uh, especially in the side deck, but uh, it's it's really consistent. It's definitely a, at least a, a tier 1, tier 1 1.5 deck, uh, so let me just show it to you guys and see what you guys like. So, definitely played 3 Auroras. Old school Starlight Rare uh, that I had from 2019. Uh, standard of the deck, two card combos with it. Um, if you guys haven't seen it, I if you guys give me the give me the 30 likes, I'll definitely show you the deck, uh, the combo tutorial. But if you guys haven't seen the combo tutorial with this bad boy, see it. You know. Uh, then we play uh, three Shavaras. Standard in the deck, obviously uh, the best card that came out for it. One of the best cards, if you don't, if you don't include the link, I guess, uh, that came out for this deck with the new support. We play one Shayama, uh, really good. Actually, it's it's been it's actually really good in the f to get, like when you get nibbed, uh, you definitely want to have this card in your graveyard uh, because it it starts off all your combos afterwards and uh, can be bestialed because it's a water monster, so it's pretty solid. Um, definitely, uh, Heart and Soul would be these two dogs right here. Uh, then we play one, uh, Abominable Snow, really good, uh, going second, um, and, and Clapbacks, definitely want to have one of it. Uh, I've seen some people with two, but one is the right ratio. Then another, another couple, one of Samara and Rakia, or Rakia, as some people call it. Um, both are pretty good. Uh, extender here and starter here uh, both have great crackback utility. I think one of each is perfect, especially if you're playing uh, this girl right here, Tour Guide, which is a one card, the only true one card combo in the deck. Uh, Tour Guide plus Rhino. Tour Guide searches out the Rhino, you link both of them off. Rhino dumps the big red dog and uh, starts out your plays. So definitely play it. I think that's the right, the right. Uh, the right engine to play in this deck. I know people used to play pure. I don't think there's any debate anymore that uh, tour guide is the best, uh, especially if you're going first in this deck. Now, um, I did get this from Pack slash uh, Jesse Cotton Inspiration, uh, the Dark Contracts of the Gate and uh, uh, King Requiem. I think this is probably the best way. It does suscept you a little more to hand traps because of it, uh, it's, it like draw, like the random draw and stuff. But honestly, it's it's worth the risk because you get this guy out. Uh, you get a free body out. You can get a free rank up uh, to uh, uh, Machina to Machinus. Insane, it's an insane card. Definitely play it at at in your deck. Um, On to the hand traps, and I only play one main deck hand trap and it'll be nib uh, because the random nib uh, does hurt even in unchain if you nib it doesn't doesn't let you make your full combo uh, your four board it does weaken the board slightly uh, and other decks um, especially rogue nib is just far superior than any other deck than any other hand trap in the main so that's good for the spell cards we do play three of prosperity because it searches out anything from your deck we do play three prisons because again searches out any unchained card can be used as extender as a pop uh, when it's when it's there and the funny thing enough is they can use both effects in the same turn so it's pretty good. Uh, then we play three book of eclipse again. We want things to out boards. Book of eclipse is insane. This is a good going second card. Um, and I think it just has more utility than uh, like an Ash for this deck. This deck can, wants to defeat your opponents going second as well, and it has the means to OTK without additional needs. So, really good. We do play 3 Thrust. I think Thrust is just too good in this deck because um, it can search you out the 
traps if they nib you you could just thrust and get a little <laughs> the little uh normal trap from the unchains escape or or prison um or anything basically you can just get any of the the normal traps or spells and just combo off so it's so good and then going second obviously it's where the utility works the best for it we do play one uh talent really good card as well uh to uh, take your opponent's monsters to draw to rip a card out of their hand we do play one herald of the abyss uh really good as well uh definitely want to play it one uh harpy's feather this for back row and then three escapes, obviously, and two chambers. If I had space for the second, the third chamber, I probably would add it, but you only need two. Uh, 41 cards in the main. I think that's the perfect ratio for this deck. Uh, on to the extra deck. Extra deck, you got one mud rack, uh, mud uh, cracker, or mud racker, whatever they call it, of the underworld. Really good card. Um, obviously, gives you the OTK potential, gives you the extender for the. Um, Griffin, um, but usually it's just there uh, for crackback. Uh, two rage, um, you only need two, you don't need three, you never go into three. Two, one, one really is when you really need, and then the second one is there for uh, just in case if you need it for late game. So, really good. Uh, two Yamas, Heart and Soul, the deck. Some people played three, I just didn't have space for the third one. Third one's good for a grind game, especially against a mirror match, uh, but at least two is what I think you need for this deck. We do play one Unicorn here uh, for the uh, combo with Rage. You can just link off one of your opponent's monsters, Unicorn, and then take another card from them. It's insane. And then one Anguish. I think Anguish at one is perfect. Uh, usually you just need it for the crackback or when you're going second, and then you can always revive it with Yama or one of the, with the Chamber. So don't really need too much of it. One Griffin. Um, it's good against if you get nipped and you could just make Griffin. Um, it's an okay line. It's like not the best. I think I still prefer the uh, XYZs over Griffin. But um, if you get Nibiru, you could still make it with Mudracker and and kind of uh, make it hard for your opponent. And then it's really good against Pearly. So do play one Abomination. I love Abomination because it just clears out your your opponent's board. Card's a god god card. It's a god card, man. Uh, but. Uh, it's also trolley, so definitely play it. Um, it's, it's basically your um, your version of access code in this deck. Then we got uh, Underworld Goddess, uh, amazing card, good against Pearly, um, good against uh, unnegate uh, cards that this deck has struggles with, like non-targeting monsters, non-targetable monsters. This card is insane against them. Um, then we play one DDD Kingstone Darius. I mean, it's good. Now that Flundery is in the format, if you get uh, D, D Shifter, you could kind of just make this card off of your Tour Guides and then rank it up into obviously Caesar. And if, um, and at least you get a couple negates off of it and not waste your resources with the D Shifter. Do play two Caesars, obviously, and then one uh, King, Dari Dex, King Dex Machinus, uh, and then one Zeus. All right. Uh, now on to the ex, uh, extra, the side deck. Sorry about that. So I love to play my side deck, uh, anticipating any um, troubles at hand. So I do love to play extra hand traps here. So Ash for obviously decks that uh, Nibiru doesn't work against, a lot like Labyrinth, or for Brandon, really good. It just it just good against the most decks. So definitely like to side it. And I do play. Three draws because it just wins a lot of decks like Flow and decks that you have difficult matchups against. Uh, you can win a Mernadium with this, uh, win Dragon Link, win Synchro Spam. Uh, it's just insane, so I love to keep it in the side. I do play one change of heart because we played Thrust and it's good against the Mirror. Two Lightning Storms, good against Back Row, good against Labyrinth. Uh, and you could search it out. Uh, three in Perm again. Say, like, um, yeah. Nibiru doesn't work. Say that um, you're going second. It's an additional disruptor that doesn't that that doesn't trigger thrust either. Uh, so it's pretty good. Definitely want to keep it in the in the in the uh, side. And then three barrier because if you're going first, um, get out a lot of decks and, and make sure a lot of decks don't uh, get full com. You don't get full combo by a deck. Uh, that is it for the deck. And if you guys want to see a combo tour with this deck, 
please hit the like button. If you get 30 likes, I would definitely do it because I love this deck. So I'll definitely show you some of the good combo lines with it. Um, and yeah, if you keep like guys keep enjoying and loving it. If you guys have any changes in this deck that you want to uh, add, please comment it down below. I love like improving every deck I make, and uh, and I love doing it with the fans that are, are here for me. So um, yeah. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.